and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah and I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you knit the easy way. Right, what are we doing today? We are doing ribbing. And ribbing can come in so many sizes, but what we're doing today is what is known as one by one ribbing. That is because we are alternating stitches one at a time. So what is ribbing? Ribbing is a part of a knitting um, garment. It might be a cuff, it might be the hem of a jumper maybe, and you're just making a piece of knitting that is elastic almost. It creates a stitch pattern that can stretch and then all by itself it will um, decrease again to just give you a tighter part of your cuff. It's ideal for um, a glove and like I said for a cuff of a jumper maybe. So what are we doing here? I have an even number of stitches on my needle. I have 12 stitches on here and I'm just going to show you how you create these. When you have an even number of stitches you alternate between the stitches, purl, knit, purl, knit, go all the way along the row repeating that and you continue that until the end of the row. Now I've done that on the first row. Now because I have an even number of stitches on my needle, I can go along the second row and do exactly the same thing. The third row will be exactly the same thing, all the way along up to the end of the ribbing. Now let me show you how you do this. With a purl stitch, you have the yarn in front of your needle. So we go in and we do a purl stitch for the first one and the yarn has to go to the back of the needle so we can do a knit stitch. Then the yarn has to come to the front and we do a purl stitch, has to come to the back so we do a knit stitch all the way across the needle. And all the way to the end of the row we're moving the yarn in between the stitches so that we don't end up with a hole or a stitch that we didn't realise we had and we end up with more stitches at the end of the row. There we go, that is the first row and the second row done. So we then turn the needle round and we do that again, exactly the same thing. We have a purl stitch and a knit stitch, a purl stitch and a knit stitch all the way along and that's that. That is your even number of stitches one by one ribbing and it's called one by one as I said because you're alternating one knit stitch with one purl stitch. Now what I'm going to do is show you what you do with an odd number of stitches. I'm going to um, let me do this. Purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, Knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, and then I'm going to do a purl stitch and I'm going to create that at the end of this row. There we go, you can just pretend that's a purl stitch at the end there. Then we have the second row and that becomes knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one and because obviously we have an odd number of stitches that doesn't create uh, an even number of pairs. We have to change the stitch that we start with on each row. So we start with a purl stitch for the first row, we start with a knit stitch for the second row, and we alternate between those two rows. 
that's as simple as it gets. So depending on how many stitches you have, you either do, you either start with the same stitch and alternate, or you start with purl stitch on one row and then you alternate with the knit stitch. And you just change between those two stitches as you go along. And it's just a case of remembering to move your yarn in between the two stitches. I've been doing ribbing for, well, quite a long time. <laughs> Probably 20 years now, uh, which means that I have uh, just an automatic pilot way of knitting and I can do it quite quickly. But it doesn't matter how quick or how slow you do it. Um, very rarely is ribbing a whole of the garment. You're just doing it, like I said, to give a little bit of stretch to a single part of the garment. And that is that. I do hope you have enjoyed this and it's helped you. Um, do ask any questions if you like. I'm on Facebook. I do have a Facebook group, Knit with Hannah. Just look um, under Facebook groups dot com facebook.com groups slash knit with hannah yes i think that's right and you can ask me any questions you have there right um yeah i hope you've enjoyed this and thank you so much for joining me i will see you again soon i hope bye